Hey kings and queens, my name is Poil Omar and this is my Giving You Face YouTube webisode series. And I not only love makeup, but I have some really cool friends and I'm here today with my friend Marga Gomez, everyone. Poil is saving my drag king debut. Tell us a little bit about how you first got into doing comedy. Really, my, my parents were in show business and so I just, uh, I just always liked it. It just always seemed like a really cool thing to do. And uh, when I was in school, I studied writing, and then I moved to San Francisco. Well, not moved. I ran away from my parents when they found that I was gay. Uh, oh, my God. Well, that's kind of... Was it traumatic? Um, I think, uh, especially for them, because they heard me having sex. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So how old were you when that happened? I was uh, 19. 19, and I, I came to to San Francisco and it was wonderful and everybody was an artist because back then we had rent control and uh, you didn't get kicked out and you could do your art and live in the most beautiful place on earth now things have changed but um, I still have rent control so in the 80s all the stand-up comedy clubs started opening and so you could just do an open mic and it wasn't as much of a hassle as it is to do an open mic now it was you know because it was an audience uh -huh. you know, everybody just was like excited about this new form and then there was a club called uh, Valencia Rose that featured gay stand-up comedy and so I found that and that was it. It was, it was wonderful and it was horrible because that's also was the AIDS era. And as the oh, community God. got radicalized and and activated, a lot of us gay comics were also, we also had a political side. And so we were talking about what, what was happening and we were part of the community. And so it just kind of all merged together so that my comedy is sometimes escapist, but also sometimes I talk about, you know, what's going on now. Laughter is... Uh, First and foremost, a survival tool. I'm so. a drag and I'm doing comedy about stuff. I'm playing that devil's advocate role, saying things that I don't actually believe, but we know that's how they're presented by people, and the absurdity of me saying it is... Satire. Right, uh, of course. Yeah, yeah. I don't I do not do that. I don't do that kind very much, but also in, in, uh, in drag comedy, that is also expected you can't be a, an earnest lesbian for drag comedy it's very different because people are now getting so sensitive that the things that any comic would have said 10 years ago even to be funny are now like will get you picketed it's definitely okay not to laugh i mean people sometimes laugh at things that are you know because they think they're supposed to so it is really it's kind of uncharted territory about what we do now but but i do think that when it comes to comedy, you kind of just have to let people be, you have to let them be fucked up and you have to, what you really have to do is you have to support the comedians that you believe in, the comedians who are putting themselves out mm -hmm. and actually who have a conscience and a soul. Yeah, with uh, comedians and the free speech and I don't think you can censor because where do you draw the line? And I felt it, I, f I feel right. like I don't want people like, you know, hissing me and boo you know and so <laughs> so then i just avoid topics rather than just get into them and get to the other side today we are going to be doing a drag king makeover of marga where she is inspired by the lead character in the film machete she called it machete like I, yeah. yeah i yeah i'm very white i know when I say i'm it. trying to get yeah machete. <laughs> i'm kind of white too <laughs> i'm white i'm white inside <laughs> i'm actually like a, uh, an old jewish guy inside so from New York. <laughs> How did you choose this particular character? Well, I didn't even know that I was going to do a Latino character necessarily. And then it just kind of changed to, well, I'm going to be a Latino guy, but who's a Latino guy that would be interesting enough? Uh, the actor is Danny Trejo, who's got, um, I think if most people who think they don't know Machete uh -huh. would see the face Danny Trejo, they're going to know the actor. He's an actor who's like, he's, he's, like pockmarked and ruddy skinned and he's got this um may I say bandido <laughs> mustache. Uh -huh. I know. Not you can gonna, say it, I can't. Not even gonna bring that shit up. He's got a <laughs> the dogs just invaded the apartment. They wanna be around machete. That's the whole thing about my character. It's like he's got this like, you know, intimidating face. But women and Jack Russells cannot resist him. <laughs> Yeah, I can't really recreate some of the, like, the pockmarking and things like that, but we have a picture here. We're going to give you the essence of this character. And by the way, I like Danny Trejo because he does great work in Los Angeles outside of acting. 
trying to help reform people who are in gangs and get them out of gangs and clean and sober and out of that lifestyle. Yeah, because Danny, he spent his early years yep. as in, in prison. Yeah. And he was he's discovered. Legit. And yeah. he was visiting a friend and somebody saw his look and they discovered him and that was that. So he's... Right. Well, yeah. I mean, he embodies and understands very well usually the characters he's playing. So All right, you guys, we'll be... speeding this up so you guys can see the process in much faster fashion. Should I take this shirt off? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> this character is going to be based on a lot of line work. You basically do everything that is a normal drag queen. You want to do the opposite of, like, you want to de-emphasize any lines. On this, we're going to give her, like, extra, extra, extra lines. lines. We have a reference photo that we're working from. I'm gonna include it in this video for you guys so you can sorta of kinda of see where we're going with this. He's like the male version of Kill Bill. Yes, yes, yes. It's the same kind of film. And the only reason I know this film particularly well is because Jessica Alba's in it. Yeah. Taking a shower for no reason. Hello. <laughs> yes. She's Jessica Alba, she doesn't need a reason. Yeah. She's so gorgeous. She came to my show at the cafe one time. <gasps> oh, no she's kidding. So cute. She's gorgeous. Oh, God, maybe I'll get to meet him. Wouldn't it be cool? I was gonna say, because if, if like your video goes viral for Danny Trejo fans, mm -hmm. well, get I'm, to him. I'm, I'm gonna straight up tweet him. I mean, like, there's been no woman who who's doing Danny Trejo. Yeah, well, like, I mean, really, it's like not, not the popular thing. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with looking like you, Danny Trejo. No, but no, but everybody wants like everybody wants to sleep with Danny Trejo. Okay. I was telling Marga, I personally love character makeovers for myself, like when I'm a painting or an alien or an animal. So this was one of the reasons I jumped at the opportunity to do this. Well, when training. you when you look at when you look at uh, this this movie again or anything with Danny Trejo, he becomes beautiful and everybody else falls away. I mean, I just I just learned so much from him about beauty, sexuality and power because it's not about what's outside. And then what's outside becomes again Beautiful. That's real life for y'all. Some of the most physically attractive people I know have turned out to be some of the ugliest fuckers I've ever met. He has uh, donuts. He has like uh, a Trejo donuts. Really? And so, oh yeah. I'm probably gonna go on Whole 30 soon. Drop 10 pounds. Go and, and eat his donuts and, 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 and then yeah, so I can <laughs> make room for donuts. He also has Trejo tacos, but I don't care about that. I'm sorry, Danny. You can't just like put you know put them in your bag and keep going like i could just buy a bunch of donuts and right. i can go out and i can meet ladies you know offer them a donut you can't offer a taco you could I, I thought lesbians often offered their taco boy i really i really set myself up for that <laughs> i thought that was the whole point marga uh-huh in my pants like just down my pants because a lot of drag kings, they like to pack. They do. Have you shit glitter? Because that's when you're really doing it. I'm going to tell you a story. Uh -oh. One time, I thought I had an ingrown hair on my chest, and I went like that to squeeze it to get the hair to come out, and huge clump of glitter was like... Pfft. True story. Poyo's nipples are glitter. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. It's taking all this time on one side, and then we have to recreate it on the other side. The great part about this is when you take your time on one side, the second side becomes a lot faster because you then know what the hell you're doing. Did you all hear that? <laughs> His chin area is very scarred. Yeah, that's where the scar is, thank you. I'm gonna have to figure out how to recreate that visually. You guys, because I'm left-handed, um, I'm gonna work on this side, and then I'm probably gonna have her switch seats with me. And then he'll be at my good ear, so I can hear him. I have no idea what he's been saying. <laughs> I wish I had a, a drag fairy godfather, or mother, you know? It's very helpful. Yeah, and I've seen that people have that. Of 
course. You guys, I get awkwardly quiet when I'm really concentrating on some makeup, and I'm loving this project, so I'm like, well, it's getting there. Margaret, just take my word for it. Oh, oh, here, whoa! <laughs> yeah, God. She found the five oh, times shit. magnifying mirror. Oh, 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 God. All right, we're gonna swap Stupendous. sides. Stupendous! 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 Of a perfectionist when it comes to stuff like this. I'm so lucky. It's like I'm gonna get something creamy and sweet, and then I saw you, and well, you being a gay man and all. Being creamy and sweet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're in my nostril. Yep, I am. I'm totally in her nostril. That is full service, my friends. Poya is projecting what Marca Gomez will look like when she's 70. 70 is being generous. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now I'm getting shade. I love the waterfall that you have in your apartment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so relaxing. When I do Facebook Live, uh -huh. they ask for it. <laughs> the they're waterfall? Like, they're like, can you have the water feature going? <laughs> it's a fountain, y'all. It is. When I do makeup, I like to like really chill. Like, um, It's very zen. It is. As I said on my podcast one time, Zen AF. Uh, I like that. In my apartment, I have a, uh, uh, the kitchen drips. Do you know anything about that? Fucking <laughs> Do you know plumbing? not a plumber. <laughs> okay. It's just an unseen drip. I had an unseen drip one time. It got taken care of with penicillin. Oh. Can I tell you my favorite part of Machete, the movie? Yes. Latino Network finds him and brings him to their secret hospital. And he hears the doctor uh, telling the nurse, who's the scantily clad, all the women are scantily clad, but he's telling her that the human intestine is twice as tall as the body if you pulled it out, end to end. Mm -hmm. But then later, when the bad guys come and uh, Machete uh, kills all of them with hospital implements, the last guy he kills, he cuts the guy uh, in the... Uh, in the stomach, and he pulls out his intestine. <laughs> to prove the point. He crashes out of the hospital window, but he uses Holding the, the intestine. The intestine to, like, to, yeah, to not fall out. Um, and then the guy's like- That is the, pretty brilliant. It's amazing, yeah. And it made me feel like closer to my intestines. Uh, you can never get close enough to your I intestines. I cannot, well, I think you've tried. I, I, I enjoy allowing other people to try to get very close mm -hmm. to my intestines. I'm a huge pro wrestling fan, and I, this was on El Rey Network, where Lucha Underground broadcasts. Oh, yeah. Oh, but that's Robert Rodriguez's network. And Robert Rodriguez is the director of Machete. I auditioned for him once in L.A. in the 90s. I was supposed to watch uh, somebody being, like, uh, tortured, like, in a, in a bull ring. I guess... I maybe overacted. You're like, yes, bitch, yes, kill him, kill him. <laughs> but not as bad as Polio, just overacted. And when I was done, Robert Rodriguez just started like imitating me. And it was like, I guess I didn't get this part. <laughs> I thought I was good. I'm ready now though. Robert Rodriguez, give me another chance. I know how to watch torture. Of course she knows how to watch torture. Have you ever seen an open mic night at a comedy show? <laughs> Torture. Whenever you're working in really close proximity like this to somebody's face, there's always the inclination to be like, which would be really awkward because she's a lesbian and I'm gay. So sign up for <laughs> your makeover from Polio and get a kiss. I'm pretty impressive, don't you think? Yes. Yeah, like Let's see. Put on her, she has to put on oh, her glasses. Shut so up. Oh, uh, wait. Here we go. Look, here, this one's, wow. this one's five times as well. It's right in front of you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he's been through some shit. Ooh. Ooh, Poyo. This is comedian Marga Gomez as Danny Trejo Machete. Machete. I got the machete in my pants. Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo, we love you. And this is what we do for you. What do you guys think? Pretty impressive, eh? I think so. I feel good. We took a 40-something lesbian and turned her into a 70-something lesbian. Right here. Just the power of makeup. 
Remember, follow her, Marga Gomez, on Twitter, the Marga Gomez, on Instagram, and on Facebook. You're just Marga Gomez, right? Facebook, Marga Gomez. Machete. Uh, machete. Uh, support Danny Trejo and all his projects. Buy his donuts. Buy his tacos. Go see his movies. Go watch Machete. It's gory, but it is prophetic for the treatment of immigrants in this country. Pollo Del Mar, a uh, great, great artist. Thank you, Danny Trejo, I appreciate that. Follow me, The Glamazon PDM on Twitter. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pollo Del Mar fans. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Marga. Machete. You got it. Peace.